This week, the National Institutes of Health and the biotech firm Moderna announced their coronavirus vaccine was successful in a first round of testing. Dr. Anthony Fauci, while dodging jabs from the White House, said of the development, any way you slice it, this is good news. So how quickly should we reasonably expect a vaccine to be approved, then produced and distributed in massive quantities? And is it really the holy grail for a return to normal life? NBC medical correspondent Dr. John Torres has our Sunday Spotlight. As the world works at a record pace to develop a coronavirus vaccine, some good news this week. Moderna's phase one clinical trial data shows all 45 participants developed antibodies that could fight the coronavirus. The vaccine will move into large scale human trials later this month, enrolling 30,000 participants. Sounds promising, but when could we realistically have a vaccine available? By the end of this calendar year and the beginning of 2021, I feel optimistic that we will have a vaccine, one or more, that we can start distributing to people. But as we edge closer, more questions loom. Who gets the vaccine first? According to the World Health Organization, healthcare workers should get priority, then adults over 65 and people with underlying conditions. Moderna's chief medical officer says it's looking at those groups closely in the next trial. The phase three trial is geared towards uh, testing this vaccine and those who need it the most. But will there even be enough of it? It's one thing to have a successful vaccine. It's another thing to make 350 million doses just for the United States. To meet demand, companies have already started producing the vaccines, even though none have received approval. The University of Oxford is expected to release its first clinical trial data tomorrow, yet it's already working to produce 2 billion doses of its vaccine. Moderna says it can deliver 500 million doses a year starting next year. But how effective will a vaccine be? Experts say it's likely the first ones on the market will require multiple doses or booster shots. I think these first vaccines made through the former may, may help reduce severity of illness, which is important, but it may be the later vaccines that actually reduce transmission. With over 150 vaccines in development worldwide, we will likely see several approved in the next few years. And I think there's a lot of reason for optimism and encouragement for the first time in a while during this pandemic. A step forward as the race for a vaccine continues. And Dr. Torres joins me now live. Dr. Torres, good morning. So there is a great distance between arriving at the vaccine, getting it approved, which we got some good news on that this week, as you reported, and fully distributing it, getting into the hands of the people who need it. So when will we be at the point, in your estimation, where we feel like we can begin to return to normal life with that widely distributed vaccine? And good morning, Willie. And the point will be when we get enough of that herd immunity and experts are saying anywhere from 50 to 70 percent of people need to be immunized against the virus itself. And that means either they got the virus and they have antibodies or they've gotten the vaccine. The distribution is going to be handled by Operation Warp Speed, or at least we think it will. They're the ones making plans for it. And that's that conglomeration, that partnership between the DOD, the, the HHS, the CDC, among other entities. They're looking at that right now. They're going to produce the vaccine before it gets approved. So once it gets approved, it's ready to go. As I said in the pack package here, the dosing will be limited initially. So the first people get it, the healthcare workers, those over 65, and then eventually everybody. But remember, too, when it comes to distribution, it's not just a U.S. distribution, it's a world distribution. So we'll be in the bucket with everybody else, Willie. Yeah, and it is moving at warp speed, as you say right now. Great job by those scientists. Dr. Torres, thank you very much. We appreciate it.